Once upon a time, there was a kingdom in West Jaffa. The kingdom was ruled by a king. People called their king His Majesty Prabhu. Prabhu was kind and wise king. No wonder if that country was prosperous. There's no hunger in this kingdom. It was very happy condition, but it was pity that Prabhu and his queen had not got any children. It met the, the royal couple very, very soon. Some old woman who was respected by Prabhu suggested that the king to adopt a child. But Prabhu and the queen did not agree. Prabhu, I suggest you to have a child. Why you don't agree, Prabhu? Because for us, our own doctor or son is better than children. Do you think like that, my wife? Yes, I think so. Our own daughter or son is better than adopt children. The queen was very sad. She often cried. That was, that was why Prabhu decided to go. He went to the jungle. There he prayed to God. Every day he begged for a child. Oh my God, please give me and my wife a child. I promise to you, I will love them. His dream comes true. A few months later, then Queen got pregnant. All people in the kingdom felt happy. They sent many presents to the palace to express their happiness. I bring these presents for you, Your Majesty. I feel so happy with Queen's pregnancy. Thanks a lot. Day by day, the princess grew more beautiful. No girls couldn't compare with her. In a few days, the princess would be 17 years old. So people of the palace bought many presents for her. Their presents were very beautiful. Prabhu collected the presents. There really many presents. Then Prabhu stopped them in building. Sometimes he could take them to give to his people. Nine months later, a princess was born. People sent their presents again as a gift to a little princess. This baby grew as a beautiful teenager. Oh, how beautiful you are. Thank you, sis. You doctor and I wait for a long time. This is a present for your baby. Thank you very much. I accept your present. Prabhu and Queen loved their daughter so much. They gave whatever she wanted. It made Princess a very spoiled girl. Even though the princess behaved badly, her parents loved her. So did the people in that kingdom. Your Majesty, I bring this present for your lovely daughter. Please accept this. I'm sorry, I just can't give it like this. Thank you very much. I will accept your presence. Please make a beautiful necklace for my doctor. My pleasure, your majesty. The goldsmith worked with all his heart and his ability. He wanted to create the most beautiful necklace in the world because he loved the majesty. This is this is my necklace. Wow, how beautiful this necklace. The birthday came. People gathered in the palace field. When Prabhu and Queen appeared, people welcomed them happily. Prabhu and his wife waved at to their beloved people. Cheers were louder and louder when the princess appeared with her fabulous pretty face. Everybody admired her beauty. Prabhu got up from his chair. A man gave him a small and glamorous pillow. No wonder full necklace was on it. Prabhu took that necklace. My beloved doctor, I give this necklace for you. This is uh, from people in this country. They love you so much. Please wear this necklace. No, I don't want it. It's ugly. Then she threw the necklace. 
The beautiful necklace was broken. The gold and jewels were spread out on the floor. Everybody couldn't say anything. They never thought that their beloved princess would do that cruel thing. Nobody spoke. In their silence, people heard the queen crying. Then everybody was crying. Nowadays, the water on that lake is not as full as before. There is only a small lake now. People call it the Lake Telaga Warna. It is mean lake of color. It's located in Punjab, West Java. On a bright day, the lake is full of color. So beautiful and amazing. These colors come from shadows of forests, plants, flowers, and sky around the lake. But some people say that the colors are from the princess's necklace, which spreads at the bottom of the lake.